it is stupid cold out here right now. I can afford to talk pretty loudly too because of this this wind. It's crazy. It's freezing. It's windy. And I haven't seen a deer yet. <sighs> We've got access to this property all day though, so I'm going to probably spend a fair bit of time here this morning and then come back out again this afternoon. I've got to move a trail camera around and yeah, we'll just we'll see how we go. <laughs> but at the moment, I'm really regretting leaving the car. <laughs> I'm just trying to work out where I'm going to put this game camera. I've got a really well used cherry rub tree up there. Another one just here. Whether I, whether I just put it on this game trail here. This game trail looks like the main one. Doesn't look like they really divert either side. Looks like this is the main trail they use in this gully. But uh. You know, I'm just walking it and trying to it's a little bit windy today which is good because I can get a gauge on what's potentially gonna get in the way of the camera and set it off it's a tricky one I really would like it on the rub tree because some uh, trail cam video of a big stag rubbing his antlers would be very cool I'd like to get that so Alright, trail cam set. I don't know about grabbing the other one. I think I'm just going to leave it in here. I might grab it at a later date and then maybe I'll check this one as well. But there's definitely some stag activity through here. And just when I come into this paddock, REM started wind scenting. And I, I think I turned the GoPro on, but I don't even think you'd be able to see the deer. I might be able to crop in, maybe you'll be able to see it. But it was like 20 yards away. And the whole time when I was stalking in here, I was thinking, I should really have my bow. <laughs> But the wind was a little bit iffy and that's why it took off so anyway we're going to keep on trekking see if we can't find something worth shooting i don't really need any meat but if a uh, nice paddock deer came out <laughs> right in the edge where i could get the car to it it might be in trouble but we'll yeah we'll see how we go It's pretty cool. It's just coming down the side of this gully here, just watching Ram. And yeah, she seemed like she was indicating, seemed interested just down below us. And sure enough, a couple of snack packs down there. So got a little bit of footage. Wish I had the big camera. I would have got some really good footage of them. But I came in nice and light to put the trail camera in and didn't worry about bringing it. So the phone had to do. But I think it'll look okay. But yeah, I was about 40, 50 yards away from those two little snack packs. So not too bad but anyway i'm just gonna head up i'm gonna grab the trail camera i put out here a couple of weeks ago 
put that footage in this video. Then I'm gonna make a move, get out of here, and I'll come back this afternoon. myself. Just before I left the property I had to duck into this one last gully here. It was burnt in the fires and yeah just came for a stalk up. Room started seem to gain a little stack back there at about 30-40 yards. Wish I'd be bloody bow. <laughs> anyway we'll keep making our way up this gully and see if we can't find any more. Must be one in here somewhere. She seems very, very interested. I just heard something crashing up there, but <laughs> that'd be right. It takes a bit. that hey led me straight into it rem <laughs> that was cool i'm so friggin annoyed right now the gopro wasn't recording that 
I would have liked to have cut between cameras, but anyway. It's super cold out here, but have a look at this guy. I was just about to start my glassing session. A bit hard with this friggin' wind. I'm pretty much glassing with the binos resting on the car window on one of these faces over here. And I looked over and there was this bloody mangy wombat out here, so. Well, going for a stalk. As you can hear, it's bloody windy. But I just gotta do it. I'm freezing my balls off, so. Just head my way to this gully here. Hopefully, we'll see it here, but. They're gonna be tucked up in this wind. I wasn't seeing anything glassing, so I just thought I'd get into the bush. sucks so I don't know I don't know whether I actually still had it on the GoPro or not I just turned it off and as I, I was turning it off I got honked by a stack so it honked and I looked up and I don't think he was massive but I, I saw him anyway, anyway. <laughs> and he charged off he was probably only like 30 40 yards away just in that thick stuff and I had no chance so. anyway I'm walking out in the dark right now back to the car don't think I'm going to be hunting tomorrow, but it's just the way it goes. But I'll throw the trail camera footage in, the, the trail camera that I pulled today, I'll throw that in this video. And hopefully you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time.